congratulations on the show. Thank you. Uh, this premiere is pretty epic. Insane. I mean, oh my God. it's insane, isn't it's it? Beautiful. Very indicative of Tolkien, I think. Yeah. Um, how uh, how much are you in love with Tolkien? I mean, how did he enter your life? Was it the books? Was it the films? Or was it this this project in particular? I was not allowed to watch the movies, but I remember when they came out because everyone in my neighborhood had seen them, and so I heard the story. I heard it explained to me multiple times. And then when I was 10, my school did a musical production of The Hobbit, and I played uh, Bomber the Dwarf. Uh, this was very surface level. I was like, yeah, there's elves and there's dwarves and blah, blah, blah. Uh, it wasn't until I got this job that I like got to really dive in, which was also kind of a blessing because I'm 28 now, you know, I lived some life. <laughs> Sorry, spit. <laughs> Um, yeah, the themes are just like they, they're more applicable. You know, there's so much more depth there that I, I would not have been able to grasp as a yeah. child. Yeah. And what was the lure of your character on the, the page? How was it? How was it kind of put to you in terms of the character and the show and everything in between? She's a very famous person's younger sister. Um, but she's smart. But she's naive. She's um, maybe vulnerable to being manipulated a little. Uh, and she desperately, desperately cares about her family, uh, but also her city. And her homeland. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, in terms of the show itself, I mean, there's a wonderful kind of grounded nature to it. I mean, there's all the CGI and orcs, You've all that it? kind of thing. Yeah, we've seen You've bits seen of it? yeah, but there's a real kind of grounded nature to it. How important was it for you guys as actors to be able to like almost step into that world and be part it of it? Yeah. And ground it. Um, of course, that's really important. I mean, all the the especially playing a human, you know, and, and the family dynamic there is probably the most relatable when you're watching, um, uh, and making that as believable as possible. Was, was really key. I spent a lot of time with Max and Baldry and Lloyd Owen, who play my father and my brother, and, and um, yeah, that was very important this season. And everyone's been singing the praises of your showrunners just to how, how well they've managed to balance the fan yeah. input, but also keep it very Tolkien and then find some kind of magic in between. How impressed were you with them that they've managed to, to bring this, this to life in the way that they have? It's been really amazing. At the, I've had a friend at every premiere and their Tolkien knowledge has varied. Okay. And, and it's like sitting and watching it with a very different person every time. Because there's, there's things for, their, for people who are obsessed and there's things for people who are not you know, familiar. So. And uh, is there any moments in the show that you're going to see tonight that you're excited to see fans' reactions, reactions. live reactions? There's an appearance of someone, a character who's very famous, and I, I'm always curious what happens when, sure. when he shows up. Probably bring they the roof off. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you have a great evening. Thanks so much for your time. Yeah. Pleasure. Yeah. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey, hey You Guys.